Get ready to be amazed as we delve into the fascinating world of steam-powered transportation and discover the incredible feats achieved by these remarkable machines. In this exciting video, we'll explore a collection of innovative steam-powered machines that have revolutionized transportation. The 1914 fire engine is a magnificent piece of automotive history. Built more than a century ago, this steam-powered vehicle showcases the engineering ingenuity of its time. The vintage fire engine features a strong and sturdy frame designed to withstand the demands of firefighting duties. It boasts a powerful steam engine, which was the primary source of propulsion during its operational days. The intricate brass fittings and polished metals add a touch of elegance to its appearance. The fire engine is equipped with various firefighting apparatus, including hoses, water tanks, and a pumping system, all meticulously restored to their functional state. Its vibrant red paint job, reminiscent of firefighting vehicles from the early 20th century, gives it a striking and nostalgic allure. This masterpiece of steam-powered firefighting technology serves as a tangible reminder of the rich heritage and evolution of firefighting vehicles. Jay Leno's garage provided a platform to showcase this beautifully restored 1914 fire engine, capturing the hearts of car enthusiasts and history buffs alike. The Sentinel DG8 steam wagon is another notable steam-powered vehicle that gained recognition for its unique design and functionality. Developed by Sentinel Wagon Works, a British engineering company, the DG8 steam wagon was introduced in the early 20th century. This steam-powered wagon featured a distinctive vertical boiler design attached to a robust chassis. The vertical boiler offered several advantages, including a higher heating surface area for improved steam production efficiency. The wagon's compact size and powerful engine made it an ideal choice for hauling heavy loads, such as coal and building materials. One of the notable features of the DG8 was its efficient steam distribution system. It incorporated a double-acting, two-cylinder steam engine equipped with a rotary valve gear, providing smooth power delivery and enhanced control. This design allowed for better maneuverability, making it suitable for navigating narrow and challenging roads. Although the era of steam-powered vehicles has largely passed, the legacy of the Sentinel DG8 steam wagon remains a testament to the innovative engineering of the time. The Hornsby Mammoth Crawler Steam Tractor holds a significant place in the history of heavy machinery. This crawler tractor was a product of the engineering innovation of Richard Hornsby Sons, a renowned name in the field of agricultural machinery during the early 20th century. This tractor stands out due to its unique design, characterized by chain tracks rather than the traditional wheel-based movement. This feature vastly enhanced its maneuverability, particularly in heavy-duty agricultural tasks or over rugged terrain. Additionally, the steam power offered substantial torque, driving the machine efficiently even under heavy loads. The Lombard Steam Log Hauler, patented on May 21, 1901, represents a significant milestone in vehicular propulsion, being the first commercially successful application of a continuous track design. This innovative design would later influence the creation of military tanks during World War I and agricultural tractors and construction equipment post-war. The engineer behind this invention was Alvin Orlando Lombard, a blacksmith building logging equipment in Waterville, Maine. Lombard built 83 steam log haulers between 1901 and 1917. The log haulers closely resembled a saddle tank steam locomotive with a small platform in front and a set of tracked vehicle treads underneath where driving wheels might normally be. The locomotive cylinders powered the treads via a gear train. Interestingly, these log haulers functioned like 10 to 30 ton snowmobiles with a top speed of about 4.5 miles per hour. Despite operating in challenging conditions, down to 40 degrees below zero, the Lombard steam log hauler became known for its durability and efficiency. Although the last use of steam-powered haulers was around 1929, their legacy remains a fascinating part of early machinery and transportation history. 
The Black Pearl is a unique steam-powered vehicle that merges the aesthetics of a locomotive with the functionality of a motorcycle, making it a standout example of innovative custom vehicle design. It was constructed by Riva2 Customs, a Dutch company owned by René Van Thuy. The design of the Black Pearl draws heavy influence from old-fashioned mechanics, with the final transmission and exposed crankshaft rotating the rear wheel through an eccentric pivot, mimicking the visual and mechanical operation of a steam train's engine. Distinct features include a bell and steam horn, which are operated from the handlebars, further cementing the train-like image. Unlike conventional motorcycles, the Black Pearl doesn't boast typical performance metrics like horsepower or torque. The top speed is approximately 5 miles per hour, making it more of a novelty than a practical vehicle. Nevertheless, it is fully operational and rideable. The Bayer Garat locomotive is a type of articulated steam locomotive that was developed by Bayer, Peacock and Company in the early 20th century. It was designed to solve the problem of hauling heavy trains on steep gradients, particularly in mountainous regions. The Bayer Garat locomotive is unique in that it features two separate power units, each with its own set of driving wheels connected by a flexible joint. This design allows for better weight distribution and increased traction, enabling the locomotive to pull much heavier loads than traditional locomotives. The Bayer Garat locomotive was widely used in many countries, including South Africa, Australia, and the United Kingdom. The hero of Alexandria is credited with the invention of a device called the Aeolipolail, also known as Hero's Engine. It is considered to be the first recorded steam engine or reaction steam turbine. The Aeolipil is a bladeless radial steam turbine that spins when the central water container is heated. It generates torque through steam jets exiting the turbine, following the principles of Newton's laws of motion. This is just an example of a handcrafted engine with helicopter blades attached at the top. However, it is important to note that the Aeolipile is neither a practical source of power nor a direct predecessor of the steam engines invented during the Industrial Revolution. Nicolas Joseph Cugnot's 1766 steam trike is regarded as one of the earliest self-propelled vehicles and a significant landmark in the history of automobiles. Cugnot's steam trike had a three-wheeled configuration with two front wheels and a single rear wheel. It featured a large vertical boiler positioned at the front of the vehicle, followed by a steam engine and a water tank. The boiler produced steam that powered the engine, which in turn provided the vehicle's propulsion the steam engine in Cugnot's trike was a simple single-cylinder design. It had a top speed of around 4 kilometers per hour or 2.5 miles per hour and could cover a distance of approximately 15 kilometers or 9 miles before needing to stop for water and to build up steam pressure again. Steam-powered bikes, also known as steam bicycles or steam-powered cycles, were experimental vehicles that used steam engines for propulsion. While steam-powered bikes never gained mainstream popularity, they represent an interesting chapter in the history of alternative transportation. Steam-powered bikes utilized a miniature steam engine to generate propulsion. The engine converted the heat energy from the steam into mechanical work to drive the bike forward. A small boiler was incorporated into the bike's design to heat the water and generate steam. The boiler's size and capacity were much smaller than those of larger steam vehicles, enabling it to fit into the compact frame of a bicycle. And if you thought that all steam vehicles were slow, you're wrong. The 1906 Stanley Steamer Vanderbilt Cup Racer was a notable steam-powered race car built by the Stanley Motor Carriage Company. It was specifically designed for participating in racing events, including the Vanderbilt Cup races, which were prestigious automobile races held in the early 20th century. The Vanderbilt Cup racer was known for its impressive performance on the racetrack. It boasted a powerful steam engine that delivered rapid acceleration and high speeds for its time. The racer featured a streamlined and aerodynamic design aimed at minimizing air resistance to enhance its speed capabilities. 
It had a lightweight chassis and a relatively compact size, optimized for racing purposes. The Stanley Steamer Vanderbilt Cup Racer holds historical significance as one of the pioneering vehicles in the early days of automotive racing and is recognized for its speed and performance on the track. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.